Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is something fun and different and it's all about pregnancy style. So I'm giving you 10 of my top tips for how to dress cute when you're pregnant. I've got a good variety of tips in this video so I will hit on maternity clothes a little bit but most of the things I'm going to talk about are actually pieces that you can find anywhere, really affordable styles and basically how to dress cute without feeling like you have to invest in an entirely new wardrobe just for a short amount of time. I know sometimes pregnancy can be hard to dress for because our bumps are growing. We have all these different stages. You've got the beginning, you've got the middle where your bump is like kind of a nice medium size, and then you've got the end, which is the stage I'm at where your bump is huge and you're uncomfortable and you really need things that will just keep you comfortable and accommodate this growing body that we're in. If you're new to my channel, I am 37 and a half weeks pregnant and this is my second baby so I've gone through almost two complete pregnancies now and these are some of the tips that I swear by I feel like my first pregnancy I was all about maternity clothes I was so excited for all of them I jumped in I bought oh, like a whole maternity wardrobe and this time after seeing what it's like to breastfeed after having a baby and then get back to your normal size and how your body changes afterwards this time I really wanted to just figure out a way to make it work with the clothing I have or with pieces I can wear after pregnancy as well too. So that gives you a little bit of background info, but without further ado, let's jump into the pregnancy style video. So the first tip that I have is to go for a fitted silhouette. If there's anything I've learned in pregnancy, it's that the baggy, flowy, loose style clothes are not super flattering. Those are things that in your first trimester, they're going to be a go-to for you. They're gonna keep you comfortable conceal any bloating, potentially hide if you're not ready to tell people you're pregnant. But as your bump really starts to show, you wanna show it off because I mean, and granted, everybody's different, you may not want to, but in my experience, it is just much more, one, comfortable, but two, it just helps get rid of the whole, is she pregnant, is she not pregnant type of vibe. So I love to go for fitted dresses like this, and I also love them because you can find them wherever. So this one I got at Target, it was like $15. It's super cute, I get a lot of compliments on it. It fits my bump and it will stretch to accommodate my bump. But also if I outgrow it in a week or two, it's not a big deal because I only invested 15 15 bucks in it. This is non-maternity and I bought my normal size in it as well. I found that Target is a great place to pick up pieces like that, specifically in like their Wild Fable line. It's so funny because when I'm pregnant, I find myself shopping a lot younger of clothing lines because they have so many bodycon styles like this. So Forever 21 or Target, anything like that, I'm able to find really affordable pieces that actually work really well for my bump and I'm not investing a ton of money in, so it's like a win-win. There are so many great maternity sites that have fitted bodycon styles as well, um, but you don't have to shop maternity. Again, if you're somebody who likes to wear fitted styles when you're not pregnant, then these things are going to work well for you both when you're pregnant and after you deliver the baby too. This one is by Michael Stars. I love this dress and this one has ruching on the side so it can really accommodate your bump but it's not a maternity piece and again I just got my normal size in it and it stretches a lot. It's super flattering on but then if I want to wear it after pregnancy I could do that too. And then a couple others I wanted to call out. The line Leith which is sold at Nordstrom. They have a bunch of these long sleeve styles. I don't know if they still have this pink one because I actually got this a couple years ago during my first pregnancy but these are a good go-to of mine and then you guys know I love my Amazon dresses too these are awesome because again they have just a little bit of ruching on the side so I found that these really accommodated my changing body during the early stages of pregnancy I wore these a lot in my first and second trimester and the first half of my second trimester because it allowed my bump to show off my belly to kind of start to be the star of the show as it was becoming pronounced, but it wasn't too uncomfortable. And again, they're super affordable and just really accessible on Amazon too. If you're not a dress kind of gal, then a skirt is the way to go. As you can tell, I love myself a good fitted skirt with a top up top. These like knit style or fitted style skirts give you the same look but allow you a little bit more versatility because you can wear them with any top. You can wear them with any top that maybe is just a little too short on you. I love to do this look with graphic tees. I'll wear like a high-waisted knit skirt like this that's not maternity and pair it with some of my t-shirts that have just gotten a little bit too small on me thanks to my bump 
and I'll tie it up in a knot like this and it gives a really fresh, really fun, on-trend style. And you're still working with the clothes you already have, but still accommodating your bump too. This skirt I got from Free People. There's a bunch of different colors of it and it's super stretchy. It's really comfortable. And again, I can wear it right over my bump so it's really flattering and I can wear it with any of the tops I already have. I love to do that style with like a flowy midi skirt as well. So this skirt I got at Zara and I got so many questions when I posted a picture on Instagram in it. This is not maternity and I bought it in stores. So I'll see if I can find the link and if I find it, I'll link it down below. If not, just check your local stores. I actually sized up in this one, but it's this nice flowy metallic skirt that's great for parties. And again, it highlights my bump keeps me really comfortable. The great thing about skirts is that they're so not constricting. Same with dresses. I'll talk about pants in a little bit, but for me, it's challenging to find pants that fit me comfortably that don't put a lot of pressure on my lower belly. I find that when I've got a lot of pressure under here, under my bump, or I've got a lot of pressure on the sides, it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't last long. So skirts and dresses allow me to have a really fashionable look, allow me to still dress, dress myself up and kind of play with different looks, but they keep me comfortable because they're just so breezy, especially these like flowy styles here. They're awesome. And then to pair with my skirts, like I said, I love to do a top like this and tie it up in a knot. This top is actually a maternity top that's a lot longer. And so it can fit my bump. I can wear it with like leggings or I can wear it with jeans if I want to, but I can also just tie it up in a knot and then any additional fabric, I kind of tuck in the back of the skirt like that. Or you could do the same sort of thing with a little cami style like this. So this is not a maternity cami. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of room to accommodate any kind of bump. But I bought it when I wasn't pregnant and I actually didn't get a ton of use out of it. So I like to pair it now with skirts and then just tuck it up in the top. And it allows me to still get use out of pieces like this in my wardrobe. And I'm not putting them on hold until the pregnancy is completely over. Similarly, you could go for a button up like this and just um button it about halfway, tie the front in a knot and wear it over the middle of your bump too. And that's a really cute look. I love doing that when I'm pregnant as well. Then next up, a way to dress cute and trendy when you're pregnant is actually to take advantage of crop tops. Now, funny enough, I don't wear crop tops that much when I'm not pregnant. Although I will say after having a baby once and getting my body back and just feeling so great in my skin, I find that I am so much more confident as a mama. Um, and so I do like to gravitate towards crop tops and those fitted styles a little bit more now than I previously did prior to getting pregnant the first time. But when I'm pregnant, I find myself wearing crop tops a lot actually because they're just the perfect size top to accommodate your bump. If you look at what I'm wearing now, this is a crop top style that I probably wouldn't wear a shirt this high up with like some low rise jeans if I wasn't pregnant, but it will definitely work to accommodate a bump. So push yourself, try those trendy styles. This is a style that I just got at Target. Again, it's like 10 or $15, super affordable. You can wear them with any of those high, high waisted skirts like I've been talking about or layer them over a fitted dress too and that will give you the same look. But crop tops are a really fun way to keep your look on trend and still show off your bump too. And then along those same lines, there are so many cute two piece sets as well. You guys will notice a lot of these clothes that I'm getting are from Target because one, I went shopping at Target a couple weeks ago and picked up a couple things. Um, but two, like I mentioned, it's just a good place to pick up a couple cute, fresh styles and not feel like you're investing a lot. So two piece sets like this don't have to stop when you're pregnant. If anything, they look even cuter on with a bump. And I just size up like this set I sized up in this crop top I sized up in just try things on. I don't always size up in every size. If I'm going for non maternity items, then I will size up sometimes. But like I mentioned with the fitted dresses, a lot of times I don't even need to. So I'll try the items on and figure it out depending on the amount of stretch there. But you just wanna make sure your bump is comfortable and that your body's comfortable and if you're up moving around, you're not getting yourself to a place where you're feeling too constricted. So I love two piece sets like this. This would be perfect for a baby shower or if you have a wedding to go to or any event like that. The two pieces don't have to stop once you've got a big belly, I promise you. Then kind of going back to the fitted look. So I talked about fitted dresses, fitted leggings and basic tees will give you that same look. I've talked several times about my favorite basic tees on my channel and some of my favorite leggings, but that's like a good comfy everyday 
go-to look for me. But one way to take it up a notch and make it even more on trend is to try a maternity bike short. Now this may sound a little crazy, but I promise you it's cuter than you're probably envisioning. This company, Blanky, I think is how you pronounce it. It's with a Q. I've talked before about their maternity leggings and how much I love them because the belly has this really lighter, like stretchy knit panel that goes over your stomach. And they recently came out with this short style, which gives you the look of biker shorts, but their maternity. It's amazing. I love the biker short trend. I got really into it actually right before I got pregnant this time. And then when I got pregnant, I was bummed that I couldn't wear my bike shorts anymore. But when I found these, I fell in love. They are so comfortable. They're so supportive on your belly. They're not too confining and they're really flattering. And bonus, they give me sort of that Kim K like on trend vibe, even though I've got this big belly. So you could wear these with like a big sweatshirt or a cozy sweater. You could even wear them with an oversized graphic tee and some sandals as the weather warms up or dress it up by pairing it with a longer top and a blazer or something like that. You could get really creative. Um, but I love these. They're so supportive, so comfortable and are just really chic and fun. And again, you don't have to sacrifice style just to be pregnant too. My next tip or outfit idea going back to dresses is to find yourself a longer midi style or maxi style dress like this and tie it up in a knot and pair it with a different kind of jacket. You can use jackets when you're pregnant to really change up, um, pregnant or not, but you can use jackets to change up your look entirely. And I find myself paying much more attention to layers and jackets and coats and things like that when I'm pregnant because it allows you to change up your outfit so effortlessly with just one quick layer. I love a good maxi dress like this to tie up in a knot. It keeps it on trend. It keeps you really comfortable. And again, that like flowy style is just a must when you're pregnant because you find yourself, especially the bigger you get, it's harder to like move throughout the day. It's harder to get in and out of cars. It's harder to sit down and to stand up and get in and out of bed. So anything that's going to be really flowy like that, you are going to be so happy for. I love these like muscle T or muscle tank style dresses. And the knot at the bottom is not an essential, but just gives you a little bit of styling advice, makes it a little bit more stylish. And then I'll put it with a moto jacket and some booties in the fall or a denim jacket and some sandals in the spring or even a cozy cardigan, something like that. That can really differentiate the vibe that you're going for with that kind of outfit. Then this would not be a pregnancy style video if I didn't talk about maternity jeans. Now maternity jeans are a hot topic when you're pregnant because sometimes it can be hard to find a good pair. You don't wanna invest a ton. There are some maternity jeans that are so expensive out there. And what I really wanna focus on here is more talking about the fit and the band. I've learned that maternity jeans are tricky because in the beginning stages, you need to be big enough that they stay up on your belly. When you're first starting to show, you may put these on and they will just fall right down. Then you're gonna hit a sweet spot where they fit perfectly and then you're gonna get to the very end and they may be a little bit tight. Or you'll hit a sweet spot where they fit your legs but the band is a little bit loose on you or vice versa. So try on a bunch of different styles and find what works for you. This pair by Article of Society is one of my favorites. I actually really like the higher like full belly band. I find that it's really flattering. It's really comfortable. Again, that like lower belly feeling right here doesn't bother me as much when I have a band that is this high up. And they give me that same jeans and t-shirt vibe that I love to go for when I'm not pregnant too. But then if you are in that awkward in-between stage and maybe the full belly doesn't fit you quite yet or you just don't prefer that style, you can also find a lot of nice mid-rise styles like this too, which will be that kind of nice transitional jean look for you as you're transitioning into full-on maternity jeans. Or maybe you don't want to go for the full belly. This mid-rise might work for you better. I've seen this style from Good American. This pair is by Joe's Jeans. I've also even seen some really affordable ones at Target. But they have this stretchy knit panel on the side. So it can help support your belly and support your growing bump, but it doesn't give you quite as much coverage if maybe that's not your vibe. Then moving on to accessories, whether you're pregnant or not, accessories can really make or break a look. So when I'm pregnant, I love to use hats or hair accessories to really play up my look, but then they're not pieces that my kids or my babies will end up messing with once I have them here. I'm not gonna lie, your kid will probably mess with whatever you're wearing. It's funny, when I did one of these maternity style essential videos, my first pregnancy, I was suggesting these these like 
statement earrings and drop earrings and fringe earrings and blah 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 and those are all things that my toddler and my baby ended up just pulling on like crazy. I am a big hoop fan but my son has yanked them a little bit too much so now I can only wear my hoops if I'm not going to be around him for a little bit. Things like that you want to be mindful of. So I love a hat or a headband because if he yanks it off, it's not painful. It doesn't change up my entire look too much. I can just like toss it to the side or I could throw it back on. But I do find that at least in our experience, he doesn't mess with my hats or my headbands quite as much. So that's a fun way to mix up your look and have you still feeling stylish, but with minimal effort required. If you're like me and you're a jewelry fan and you don't want to sacrifice your jewelry, even with a newborn or with a baby, then I would recommend going Going for shorter styles like what I have on right now. A choker or some sort of small delicate chain necklace will probably get yanked on a little bit less. Anything that's like long or dangly or that's a thicker jewelry is going to get messed with and pulled on by your child. Now obviously every kid is different. You may not find that your kid messes with your jewelry quite as much as your friend's child and vice versa, but a shorter necklace or shorter layered necklaces like this will definitely save you a little bit of that time. My son doesn't mess with anything like this quite as much, so maybe I'm just lucky there, but he definitely has pulled on those hoop earrings for sure. You guys know I love Goriana. I've talked about them before. They're a great place to get some of these statement layered pieces that give you a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more style, but in a really classic vibe and a way that's not too heavy and that won't compromise practicality for the style. <laughs> then last up, I wanna talk about shoes. Now, I am a big heel fan. I love my heels. My first pregnancy, I wore heels all the way up until week 39. This pregnancy, I had to retire them a little bit sooner because I got quite uncomfortable a little bit quicker. So if you're in the same boat and you're just looking for something comfortable, I would highly recommend going for a mule style like this. Now, mules are one of those things that I feel like even last year or the year before, they were viewed a little bit more trendy, a little bit more trend forward. Not everybody liked them. People were kind of on the fence, but now they're just a style staple. They're much more normalized. You can find them anywhere and in so many different varieties. So I love a good mule like this because you can just leave them by the door, slip them on. They're like the perfect mom shoe and they're the perfect pregnancy shoe. You want to stay stylish and on trend, but also comfortable. You guys have heard me preaching that this whole video. So mules really allow you to do that. I have so many different pairs. All of the ones I think, almost all of the ones I'm going to show you here, I did get at Target because again, they're a great, like easy, affordable place to pick up trendy shoes. So I've got like my espadrilles for the spring. These ones I actually got from Vici, but these are just like a good, perfect, basic mule that goes with everything. I've got my fur lined mules for the fall. Like honestly, they are the perfect pregnancy shoe. I know not everybody loves them, but if you start wearing them, you'll start loving them. And then if you're not a fan of the mules though, a slip on sneaker will be your best friend. The thing that you'll notice about both mules and these sneakers are that you can put them on yourself. So when you get later in the stages of pregnancy like this, I cannot put on shoes myself right now. I can't do any kind of buckle or ankle strap or tie laces myself. My belly just doesn't allow me to do it. So I need shoes like this that I can slip on, but that will still keep me stylish and that make me feel like I'm still dressing up a little bit. So I love a good slip on sneaker like this. Any kind of style really like this. These are also from, you guessed it, Target. And then these are by CVs, but like I said, Vans is a good go-to as well. But these styles keep you comfortable, are super practical easy to put on by yourself. And then when you have the baby and you're trying to stay comfortable in that postpartum phase, they're really easy to just slip on and go as you're adjusting to life with a newborn and you're trying to hurry out the door and grab your diaper bag and all of the things that feel chaotic in that moment your shoes don't need to feel chaotic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys, so that's everything for today's pregnancy style video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some ideas for how to dress cute when you're pregnant and mix up the wardrobe you already have, but also what's worth investing in too. Leave me a comment down below on anything else you guys would like to see. I'm trying to pump out as many pregnancy-related videos as I can before this baby boy makes his arrival in the next couple weeks. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are new, I'd love if you subscribe Subscribed so that you can join my YouTube family too. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.